Hey, what's up, guys? It's Fertile Ace. Um, oh my gosh, it's been a very crazy time. <laughs> Verbal ace, verbal ace, verbal ace. That's all I've been hearing for the last two weeks. I mean, besides this dipshit, he could fucking suck my dick in a furry costume. That's just my personal opinion, though. Fucking Mudahar, Larix, this fat ass, they all think they're him. They think they're, they're, they're the... Best expose videos on YouTube. We all know this nigga made it first, though. Shout out to my black Israelite brother out there. He's really making a change in the world. But anyways, Verbal Ace, you know, if, if you're like me and you don't know who the fuck he was prior to this shit, I mean, he, he, he makes beatboxing animations on YouTube, and, uh, you know, let me just play this clip. I spent $50,000 used to fund NFSW YouTube channel on a BDSM striptease self-inserting video of myself and indie animation series Has Been Hotel's character. Charlie Morningstar. You know, I, I can't do such heinous acts with my vocal cords. I can't explain to you the, the the foul and inappropriate, nasty, depraved content that could be spat out on this canvas that is the internet. I can't do it. You know, I wouldn't blame him though. I mean, if a nigga got a nut, a nigga got a nut. But you know, 50k a nut, you know, that's a little... All right. Fine, I mean, uh, you know what? You know, when I saw this shit for the first time, I thought this was the funniest shit. I thought it was funnier than this, funnier than this, funnier than this, and most definitely funnier than Little Johnny wakes up one night, hearing noises from his parents' bedroom. He opens the door to his parents' room and sees mom handcuffed to the bed's headboard, dad ramming her from behind. Johnny screams. Dad turns to look at him, laughs, and gives mom a slap on the bum for good measure. And then yesterday, as of today, we got this. We all love the Nike Dunks, don't we? But come on, I'm not paying $100 for a pair of... Black and white tennis shoes. <laughs> so, I went and grabbed the ones from Walmart. And honestly, it wasn't that bad of a response video. Honestly, when a lot of like creators do this shit, they're out of it and they're just like, I'm fighting for my life. Y'all killing me with this. Shut the fuck up. I'm gonna swallow you fucking whole and shit you out like a goddamn Pop-Tart. Shut the fuck up. Anyways, the babes are pretty real on this one, though. As Samuel said seconds before watching this clip. I was tinkering with the notion back then of making a separate YouTube channel that was intended for a more mature, older audience. Though when the video was completed in 2022, I made a separate YouTube channel. Made a separate YouTube channel. Mark the video as not made for kids. Not made for kids. You have to be 18 older and up to watch it for obvious reasons. For obvious reasons. 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 Dude, I just don't know. I, I, something feels off. I just don't buy this. I don't know why. I really don't know why. He paid a studio in 2021 to make this this new edgy Shadow the Hedgehog, you know, fucking type thing for his new edgy Shadow the Hedgehog, you know, YouTube channel, right? And uh, I mean. Why the fuck would you do that? Why would you make that public? You know, I would have I would have been fine with the original narrative of you stealing 50k from your fucking employees to make this dumbass kinky depraved shit, but this is even worse. You wanted this up on the internet for everyone to see. Like I understand at Patreon or like fucking OnlyFans. I understand I want to be an inspiring entrepreneur one day too and sell my shit pics, but holy this was supposed to be a launch video for an adults only channel on YouTube. Yeah. All right. Jamie, do some fucking math. See if that shit fucking adds up, blood. But you know what? Fuck my speculation. I'm just a dumbass who makes low fucking effort content on the internet. You know what? You know, ah, ah, ow, ow, I got a Charlie horse on my foot. Ah. 